the day has come. The day for us to finally take on the Holy Nation for realsies this time. I've brought materials in my backpack for a base that has beds in it instead of uh, camping rolls. I didn't really bring camping rolls. I probably should bring camping rolls. I mean, I have a, a few of them. I suppose when we, like, sack bad teeth, we can just, like, yoink the, the bed rolls from there or something. Probably would be cool to get, like, a like a bedroll production place. Uh, you might be wondering who these guys are in the background. These uh, guys. They're just some tech hunters. I quickly, before the start of this episode, I sent out Rain to try to, like, yoink someone from Morn. But uh, I couldn't find the skeleton, dude. It's just, like, fucking gonzo beans. Which means I either misremembered where the skeleton was, or maybe the drifters actually rotate in the bars, and I just never knew. Or maybe the skeleton was just somewhere else in town, not chilling at the bar. Or the skeleton got eaten by, like, uh, bone wolves or something. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Looks like, uh, this place is still kind of intact. Sort of. This holy mines. I might as well <laughs> get a warm-up by fucking uh, destroying them all. There's no reason not to. Probably gonna take like zero damage. I see that guy took zero damage. Oh, he doesn't have a first aid kit. Might as well crush by this person, Kang. Delicious. Batman is gonna be dead. For quite some time. This other guy, I will spare, because I care not. I think I'm gonna set up like a little base to the north of these holy mites. I think that'd be pretty cool. Don't know what the fuck Ruka's doing, but she needs to stop the madness there. Maybe uh, in the Holy Nation, while we're fighting, I could like go talk to the mercenaries there and like temporarily recruit them. I don't know if they like steal equipment or whatever, or I guess take equipment from dead bodies, but I don't really particularly care about any equipment other than Lord Phoenixes. Like, I mean, I care that the paladins don't have their first aid kits, but I mean, if the mercenaries steal the first aid kits from the paladins, that's actually like, you know, a win. That just saves me some energy. I think there was four of them to start off with, and now there's only three of them. Don't know where the fourth the guy went, but it was whatever. This little plains right here is like my favorite, like, sieging spot. In a previous playthrough I did, uh, before the YouTubes, I would just have like a little shack here. And this would be like where I fought paladins. It's got like this little like line of sight blocker over here. Oh my god, wait, there's dialogue? Who's, who's talking? Kraut. Home of the Sacred Flame of Akran. Word has it, the flame's been burning for 5,000 years. Damn. I mean, that's gotta be a work of God, right? It's definitely the work of at least a lot of people fucking chopping down trees. Or making hemp biofuel oil. <laughs> I'll believe in the work of God when I see with my own eyes. Alright, so interior bed. Should be enough room for like... A decent amount of them. I can scooch this closer. Or maybe I can't, actually. No, I definitely can. I can't do the thing where I have the double bed, but that's fine. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, just gonna daisy or chain these beds as well. Okay, seven beds. Good enough for me. Uh, who's got the building materials? Hot longs. Uh, you are gonna have this job now. And uh, who has the fabric? Yeah, you also have the job now. You might as well just deposit the uh, fabrics in all these places. Kraut uh, took inspiration from the Crab Raiders and is wearing a masterwork set of crab armor as well. 
undoubtedly he's not going to be much of a combat powerhouse, but he might be uh, a good enough tank. Sort of like the opposite of Rain the Giant in a lot of ways. We'll be able to retreat here when the time comes. You know, assuming we don't just fucking wipe these motherfuckers. How tough are these mercenaries? So we've got... They're in their 60s. And there's two crossbows. Amazing. Alright, well let's get started. Looks like they're already fighting someone. Doesn't look like that someone is winning at all. In fact, it's only been white numbers. Uh, does this path lead anywhere? Oh, it just leads around the place. Okay. Obviously, we're attacking. We're doing a frontal assault. Yeah, it's just Holy Nation allies or whatever. Just gonna fucking destroy these guys. Help a brother out, you know? Alright, this guy's been totally fucked. How's the squad holding up? Literally just small cuts and bruises. Nothing crazy. Obviously, I'm going to first aid a little bit first, because why not? Can wait for the Holy Nation guys to just come around the corner. And then attack them. Dude, why aren't my, my mercenaries attacking? It's kind of rude of them. Guess they're just conserving their energy. Or maybe they'll only attack if Rain the Giant gets hit. It's highly possible as well. I mean, to be honest, it's like 10 on 1, so... It's not really super duper necessary. Alright, Escape Servant, you're getting first aided. It'll be a valuable distraction. Worst case scenario. Looks like everyone else is just pretty much in mint condition. Let's see. Just one more dude. I remain unconcerned. I mean, definitely we are going to encounter some amount of resistance at some point. To put it lightly. I have no doubt that the town is just like crawling with paladins. The Sentinels don't even have first aid kits. What jobbers? Oh wow, this is just like a completely open angle. Okay. We can totally just get in here. I guess this is just like a little side street. I would say to like bring wagons up. But it's like a 45 degree angle. So I don't know quite what its purpose is. Uh, what's this place? A temple. Might as well take a peeky peek. Oh yeah, there's dudes. There's many dudes. Just waiting. Be oh, oh, I thought that was a giant. <laughs> that was just a dude. The alarm has been raised, so potentially that means a lot of dudes should be coming. No, there's just the one. I'm like, they realize I'm in the temple. No, they're uh, fighting the mercenaries. Sucks for the mercenaries, but, you know, that's what they're getting paid for. I suppose I should go out and help them. There's no reason not to. Ooh. Kahaku Tent Cunners. Oh, I think that's, uh... My Mercenaries? Is this some other random mercenary? Maybe another, like, Tech Hunter joined in on the fight when they saw the Tech Hunters that I've got fighting the dudes. Wait, who's this? Oh, it's an Inquisitor. Pretty scary, but they're also only doing like 9 damage on a hit. Everyone's HP is doing pretty okay. Kraut's a little bit injured, ironically, given the uh, armor situation. Oh yeah, this is, this is going extremely smoothly. Big fan. Big fan of that. Cat needs to fucking medic up. Alright, do the super. <laughs> okay, tried. Awesome. Another 16 damage. Cat can uh, ruin this guy's life now. Nicely done. 
Kraut is looking extremely worse for wear. He can just first state himself. I think we are going to need to retreat after this like little conflict. Oh yes. Alright, Inquisitor, you are getting fuckified. No, that's just a normal paladin. Inquisitor, you also are getting fuckified. These two need to retreat. I think uh, Griffin can pick up Cat, I guess. We probably can just get out of here. You know, attack number one, pretty successful. Uh, Mr. Torb can do a little bit of cleanup duty since he's so strong. I want to stop this high paladin, maybe deliver another blow. It's a good thing our armor is so heavy. Else we'd uh, be in a bad situation. Oh fuck, I thought Cat went down. Cat was just getting carried. Alright, we can just head off to the outpost. Some dudes might take small amounts of damage, but that is completely acceptable. Is that Hungry Bandits also? That's pretty funny. Don't know why they'd be fighting me. I'm literally in full fucking play mail, but whatever. Oh, they're uh, tanking some blows for me. Magnificent. Ah, uh, we were getting our ass beat. Ruka, deny them the first aid, deny them their weaponry, completely destroy them. Magnificent. Alright, these two, the distraction squad, can go on home now. It must really sting for a paladin to be fucking chopped by, like, a superior uh, paladin's cross. Better than anything their entire nation could come up with. I assume that uh, the Lord Phoenix just had one, like, from ten bajillion years ago. The, like, Mato Paladin's Cross. We retreated nice and early, so there's no reason to can't play cleanup crew here. They're calling me skeletons. That's kind of rude. I don't look anything like a skeleton. Okay, the High Paladin has been taken out. No first aid for you. Alright, well, let's get our first set of rests in. Looks like everyone is here, except for the mercenaries. Rest in peace, mercenaries. Round two happens in the dead of night. Oh no, there's a huge oversight. Uh, can I pick Rook up through the wall? Ha ha ha, there's not an oversight. Merely an inconvenient bed. I probably could build a new bed, but don't really particularly care. I see there's a big beat up squad of paladins just chilling outside the base. Obviously I'm gonna... <laughs> oh my god, is that the Inquisitor? Obviously I'm gonna fuck these guys up. Just finish them off, you know? Ensure that there's less people with first aid kits cleaning shit up in the background. Okay, you you guys don't need to don't need to chase the guy with the two broken arms. Need to keep it tight, locked in. This high paladin is going to lose his weaponry. I think that's pretty much the only like group of people who really need to be disarmed and armored. Or just disarmed, really. Ugh, there's a whole fucking group of these losers. Well, we can probably just pass them by. Then again, it probably would make sense to clear them out. I mean, there's endless patrols. I mean, just scooch. Okay, we can't, can't abide this. I'll just fight them around this corner. Oh, always feels nice when the when the toughest enemy gets caught by the AoE. <laughs> that poor holy servant. Oh, hold up! This guy's medicking. No medicking for you. Oh my 
god, dude. There's so many fucking guys. Obviously, we're attacking all once again. Contract with the tech hunters has ended. They weren't really providing much value in this proposition anyways. Everyone's mostly in good condition. I feel like the risk is sort of... The ante is being upped a little bit too much for my comfort, but... It is what it is. Oh, these guys are from the town. They raised the alarm. Pretty sure you have to be from the town to raise the alarm. So this is actually wonders. Oh my god. They're getting so fucked. There's losing limbs left and right. Alright, cat's looking a little bit too fucked. Mmm. I don't care. I'll just pick him up when he goes down. Wanna fight these chumps at the front gate. Maybe we can get like a couple more limbs for the collection. Rain is also looking a little bit fucked. Everyone else is in good enough condition. How many paladins are even left in this shithole? I mean, there's gotta be like a bajillion of them, right? But not really seeing many of them. Oh, we could go to the, the back gates. I think that'd be pretty good. Yeah, just clear the gates out. Make sure that they're all like fucked up, you know? The rest of the guards will navigate on over, I think, to the gates. So that'll be like the way to ensure that I continuously clear them out. Is there a barracks right here? Okay. So we'll be able to get the meat of them. That is a lot of green ass numbers, I will say. Cat, whenever he does that fucking super jump kick, he always leaves himself vulnerable to getting, like, absolutely fucked on the way down. It's kind of sad. Dude, if this guy gets hit in the right leg, he's gonna be permanently fucking crippled. He did not. Magnificent. How's everyone's HP? Pretty much just the same as it was mere moments ago. I want to take a peek inside this place. So there is not a paladin in sight. There's one holy servant holding down the fort. I don't really particularly care about that. I think we're golden. Fuck me, dude. There's just a whole ass set of paladins over here. Extremely booty. Oh my god, there's even more fucking paladins from the outside. I need a break line of sight. We're starting to feel the burn a little bit too much. Obviously, I'll deliver like finishing blows to any any dudes still, like, around. We need to take a different trajectory. There we go. This guy is so maimed, he will not be able to catch up. I'm gonna fight around this, like, bottom area over here, just so that I can take another swipe at these guys. I think it would be prudent. Dude, they always block cats fucking blows. It's so sad. I can take out one more, I think. Instantaneous death. Alright, another loop. Magnificent. What's with these bulls? They're holy nations bulls? Are they gonna attack me on sight? 
Are they even capable of differentiating me from random dudes? Nope. It's a caravan guard as well. I gotta get away from here. It's hilarious. Good guards. Why is this guy with no functioning arms chasing me? Get fucking smited. So day two of the combat went pretty much as good as day one, I would say, if not even better. There's a lot of just like random losers who were already injured from the previous day's fighting. But many more have gotten chipped down. Every time we rest like this in the beds, we're just basically healing eight times as quickly as they are. So any damage we perform is lasting damage. Relatively speaking. This is much like the D&D &D parties, or a D&D &D parties strategy in many a campaign, if the DM lets them, is to have like one big Nova battle and then retreat and long rest over and over. I never understood why in 5e there's fucking like you just get back to full HP with the long rest. A long rest is literally just like one night's sleep. I mean, it's very much like that in Kenshi as well, but like, you know, you can't exactly like skip a week of time in Kenshi, so. Like you could in D&D. Uh, &D. Oh, everyone's just back to full. Wonderful. How's the loser squad going? Every, every single time. We like go into this place, we just pass over this road where there's just like a bunch of people who got beat up. Oh, there's just not even guards at this gate anymore. I guess they just got too damaged. Yeah, these guys are still just unconscious. Just bloody and beaten on the ground. Well, we might as well help them along a little bit. Let's see. Is there anyone in this bar? There's the ninjas. Oh, there are mercenaries. You. One day. Oh, welcome to the squad. More people just helping out here. Yep, they've they've joined in. They're not like super great at it, but every like additional person with weapons. You know, every additional sword is just helpful. Unless they chase around a fucking dude with no arms. In which case, that's not very helpful. I think, I think these guys need to retreat over here. So that we don't get stuck in a brawl with random paladins outside. Let's all just beat on this poor guy. Without a lake. Ruka can take out this guy with all his limbs intact. Wonderful. I like this friggin' like 10 on 1 style combat. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Bulls fighting me. It's getting in on the fun. That paladin got some good licks in there. Don't let them get away. You're the ones who, uh, are not going to be let away, for the record. Alright, how's everyone's HP doing? Rain's a little bit injured, but everyone else is pretty much fine. Uh, it looks like the human mercenaries have left us, so they weren't exactly here for very long. Hmm. Oh, armory. Don't mind if I do. Also, there's a guy. Yep, here's the perfect zone. Get him with your improved indoor martial arts cat. Wonderful. God, this freaking pack bull. Hold up, it, it has a pack. 
Yeah, give me those rations. I want the rations. I'll take the food cubes and a piece of meat just to finish them off. Wonderful. Ack! Please, no! You attacked me, buddy. Your ass is grass now. Oh, there's the human mercenary. Oh, he's just unconscious. They bandage each other up. Good on him. I heard the traitors had, like, a special backpack. In a... A comment a long time ago. So I need to make sure. Let's see. Trader's wooden backpack. No, it's just a normal one. Also, thanks for the cash. Maybe it's not every trader. Maybe it's only like high of traders or something. This Inquisitor is back once again. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Probably at least one more time. Awesome. Okay. We need to uh, move out. I need to find... There's like someone special in this town, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea where they could be. I mean, we've pretty much... Uh, yes, they're probably in the giant tower, actually. It's going to say we pretty much cleared this whole place out, but clearly there's a whole giant tower of fun that we could be clearing out right now. I think I'm going to have hot longs, like recruit some more mercenaries. Uh, never mind. There is no more mercenaries. Keep, <laughs> uh, as you continue, go about your business. Oh man, this guy's badass. Ha ha ha, this ought to be fun. I'm sorry to say, it will not be fun for you. Unless you are a masochist. In which case, it will be very fun. Poor guy. I mean, he's part of the Holy Nation faction, so I shall not heal him. Oh, he lost a leg. Probably be reconsidering that. That faction soon. Reconsidering his life choices. Dude, when are they gonna stop calling me a thief and start calling me, like... I don't know. Conqueror. Terrorist. Evildoer. Any one of those would be much more appropriate. Okay, I just stole, like, one time. Okay. Wait, who the fuck are these guys? Oh, caravan? More caravan guards? Well, whatever. I'll beat up everyone in this town if I have to. No troublemaking! I will make trouble if I... If I damn well, please. Alright, you guys. Need to find a named Inquisitor. I'm assuming there even is one in this town. It could just be that there's not. There's gotta be, though, right? Let's see. Oh, one of the... <laughs> one of the tech hunters is in jail. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, no, none of them are in this place. Fuck me, dude. Is there any other special buildings? One would think the dude would have been in either the temple or the barracks, right? Oh no, they're taking... Ooh, okay, he sent that guy to the transfer. I was going to say they're taking the, the human mercenary to jail. I dealt with that handily. Are they maybe in the armory? I mean, whoever it's going to be, they're going to be in like a red outfit. Not seeing anyone in the armory. Ah, oh, these fucking bulls. Alright, Soto. Loot. Thanks for the friggin' me and ration packs. This isn't the guy, right? This Inquisitor? I'm gonna do some exploring. So, in this long house... 
there is not a throne, and there's not any paladins. There is a there's a tech hunter who I feel a little bit bad for, so I will pick their lock. Nice one. You're welcome. You know, I think I kind of kind of cleared this place out. I'm guessing there just isn't a dude. Maybe there's not a dude in every single town. Maybe it's just like a like certain like faction HQ people. Like uh maybe in stack there's someone I could take out. I'm guessing that's what it is. A little bit awkward. Uh, I guess I could just rob from a holy uh or the uh the, what do you call it? There's like a material store in every single town, right? I'm not seeing one though. Don't tell me this shithole has like no. I don't think it does. Wow. It's kind of tragic. Well, whatever. I consider this to be like a successful first foray. Proof of our power. Took out a whole town. I guess the next step will be to move on to greater towns. Now that we've like completely decimated the population in this one. We're a little bit super duper beat up after that third day. But we did literally just sit there like all day long. It's definitely a very good sign. I think my strategy for the next town is going to be I'm going to have to go back to my home base and get even more fabrics just so I can set up like an identical outpost like this one. Uh, which one should I take out? We could maybe go to Narco's Trap, get like more AI cores or something. Cause I'm pretty sure there's like a robot base there. I kind of like the idea of going to stack first. Could maybe set up like right over this hill or something. I think that would be pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty sure uh, there's a base up in the top right as well, like Shield of Ocarina or some shit, which has like an Inquisitor that we're gonna need to take out as well. It might make sense to try to locate the Flotsam Ninjas as well. I know there's this like anti-Holy Nation faction up in the north. And I think it would make sense to turn in the Inquisitors and crew over to them. Because if we give uh, them to the Shack, I think the Shack will just automatically take over these places. I mean, that might happen either way, but still. 